Hello and welcome to Business 360. I'm Parikshit Dutra and here are the headlines we are tracking this evening. Stock markets fall for the third straight session. Sensex falls over 500 points and Nifty loses nearly 150 points. Rupee weakens marginally against the dollar to move closer to the 82 mark. The industry gives a thumbs up to the government's decision to scrap export duty on iron ore and several steel products. Minister Jyoti Raditya Sindhya says that removal of export duty will lead to a new era of growth for the steel industry. The union government could reassess the national monetization pipeline goal, make it more realistic. Sources say government may reassess the accruals, may refocus on monetizing idle assets instead of running ones. The Finance Ministry tells the Parliamentary Panel that the timeline for becoming a $5 trillion economy has been postponed by two years to 2027 due to the pandemic. Adds that real GDP growth is expected to hover around the 6.5 to 7% mark this fiscal and inflation would enter the 2 to 6% tolerance band by the fourth quarter. Former bureaucrat Arun Goyal takes charge as election commissioner, fills the third and final post that had been lying vacant for six months. Goyal is next in line to succeed CEC Rajiv Kumar when he demits office in 2025. Mixed reactions to the COP27 climate summit as the world's biggest economies make fresh commitments to cut greenhouse gas emissions. Developed nations agree to compensate poorer ones suffering due to climate change. But many world leaders call this a small step towards climate justice. In a surprise announcement, Bob Iger returns as the CEO of Disney 11 months after leaving the company. Bob Chapek exits Disney after a tumultuous period at the helm. Former US President Donald Trump snubs Twitter after Elon Musk announces the reactivation of his account. More than 15 million Twitter users voted in a poll conducted by Elon Musk, where nearly 52% favored the return of Trump.